What's going on today, Internet? Selfish here with Retrospect. What if I told you you could set up an Android device in about 15 seconds instead of three to four hours anytime you get a new handheld? That's emulators, front end, everything. And that really sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But it's not. Let's take a look. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to DNA Mobile Gaming right here off the bat because he created this amazing thing that I just couldn't wait to talk about. So I stopped filming the video I was filming in order to come on here and talk to you guys about this here. It just came out today. I'm going to have a link down in the description on how to get to his video in order to download this application that we're going to go over right now. I have this Odin 1 Pro that I haven't done really anything with except for maybe put a couple emulators on since I won it from the Retro City Raffle. Reason being is I just haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. I mean, it just sounds tedious to spend a day setting up all the emulators in the front end on this device. But now we have a solution that we can do this relatively quickly. So like I said, there will be a link down in my thing of a Bob to DNA Mobile Gaming's video where you can get a link to this application. But I'm going to show you guys just how quick and easy and everything it is here today. So the link is going to be a link to his Patreon account. Now this does cost $6. If all the hours saved not setting up emulators isn't worth the $6 to you, by all means, don't spend it. But I think that this is a really sweet solution and he's done a really good job. He's already updated it since this morning. So we're going to go to Patreon. Look at that. It's already right there. And we're going to go to DNA Mobile Gaming's Patreon. So that link will bring you to his Patreon right here. Once you go, the top thing on here, it says MU Droid version 1.1 or 1.01 release. We're going to go down here to Google Drive. Click on this. Now, he is a fellow creator, so I trust him. This is uh, probably not going to allow you to scan for viruses, so you have to decide what your level of trust is. I've already done this on a couple of devices before I even decided I need to make a video about this just so other people can start doing this as quickly as I am. It's going to take it a quick second here to download. Hopefully we'll have it downloaded here in a second. Looks like it's got about 10 seconds left. And we're going to go over here into our downloads folder once it's done. And it should be about done. There she is. So you got to open this up. Um, I'm going to, so I'm just going to put this on my desktop. Oh. As I think this through, I don't think that there's an actual folder in here. So we're just going to put a folder on here. Just in case it uh, doesn't have its own folder. Because I don't want to be chasing this stuff around. So we'll put in this little Emidroid folder. Oh, Emdroid. Oops. Well, whatever. And we are going to go Properties. Show more options. If you don't have 7-Zip, I'd recommend getting 7-Zip. There we go. So here's the application. It's interesting because it does put another zip copy in here. You can actually get rid of the zip file afterwards because it, it installs itself right back into the folder. If we go to this how to use right here, it's going to tell you that you just have to enable developer mode on your device, navigate to options, and install us using install. This click to install button doesn't work for me, and I think it's just the way that my computer is set up uh, for some of the things that I do. But if that is the case for you as well, you can just use the installation script and you'll be just fine. It's just like running any other script on a computer. What we're going to do here is we're going to go into settings. Scroll down to the bottom here, do about. Go all the way to the bottom here to build number, and you're going to click on this seven times. And now it says you're a developer, so congratulations, you just graduated. You are now a developer. Back one page, hit system, go to advanced, developer options, and then you are, in this developer options area, you are going to scroll down to where it says USB debugging. And that's what you're going to need right there. Now, the only other thing that you need other than your handheld and this setup like this is a USB to Type-C cable. I'm using a different computer than I did my other ones on just so that it wasn't already pre-installed. So you guys are getting a fresh install just like I did. Plug this into the USB. Hopefully you don't have as much junk on your desk as I do. I got a whole bunch of testing equipment out. All right, so we have our USB cable. We are going to plug our USB cable into the device. My firewall sometimes blocks these. So I usually have to go in and out of USB debugging a couple of times to get it to pop up. But most people won't have to do that. Here we go. This is what I needed. A Allow USB debugging. So now that it sent a signal to it, now it wants to do the actual thing. Install scripts. And now you're going to be able to see each individual thing install. So this was AetherX2. This is DuckStation for Android. And it's going to tell you if, if it was successful or not. If you already have it on your device, it won't be successful. Just to let you know. But as you can see on my device here, now it's filling up. So I'm done. So it really does take about 15 seconds. It's absolutely incredible uh, the time that it takes. All you got to do is really just click on it, unzip it, hit the install button, and walk away. 
That's it. And I will have everything on here. It will be using the Daijishu front end. I guess originally it was going to use Emulation Station, but that has changed, which is fine. I use Daijishu for everything anyways, so that makes it pretty easy. And now it's done. And all of your emulators are on here. So every emulator that you need for all the systems that are supported are done. I apparently had a different version that had Daijishu that I already had installed but never set up. So then all you gotta do is go into Daijishu and all your stuff is here. Put it towards your folders, wherever your ROMs are held on the device. Tell it which ROMs you want to do and point it towards those folders and you have everything here that you're going to need. As you can see, all your applications are inside of Daijishu. It doesn't get any easier than that. What I normally was doing in the past, I'll show you what I've had to do in the past here. So I'm going to take this micro SD card out of my 556. I'm going to throw it in my computer here real quick. So I'll show you here quickly what I've had to do in the past with this memory card out of my 556. So I'll have to put it in. I'll open it up. Yeah, so this is some of them. I don't think I... Oh yeah, here we go. Emulator build. So I have all the emulators in here and I update this about every two weeks. So instead of having to do this now, I can just update it through this program, which is going to be fantastic. So anything that I need, otherwise, I'd have to go through here. So it really is not an easy, easy thing. And if you haven't done it much, it'll take you far longer. I remember my first device, even with using Retro Game Course Guide, Odin I had took me hours. I also had hours. I was in the hospital at the time, so I guess I didn't really have to worry about it. Um, also, we could inject this, so no big deal. And we are done, though. This is, uh, this is amazing. I just want to say thank you for saving us so much time. This is absolutely an incredible thing. I don't know how much more we can repay you other than you know, obviously supporting your Patreon, uh, which also puts us in for raffles on your Patreon as well. Oh, I won this out off the Retro City Discord. There's a, a raffle that goes on pretty much weekly. I never win anything. I feel blessed winning this. I never win anything at all. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. And even came with this little stand. You can't really read it in the video, but it does say Retro City on it. And it is a charging stand for an Odin. I just haven't slid a charger through it yet, but I will. And that's pretty dope. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them down in my comment section down below. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this Emudroid situation? I think it's pretty awesome. I don't know why it hadn't happened earlier. There is an MU deck for Steam Deck out there, so this was a really good turn in the right direction. We've had a lot of negative in this space lately, and this is a really good positive addition. So really cool to see somebody out there working their butt off, putting these scripts together so we could have a nice, well-updated system. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share this video with your friends because sharing helps grow the channel. And I'm more of a grower than a shower. Don't ask my wife. She will hopefully lie to, lie to you and tell you that's not true. And thankfully, I made this a short video, so while you're still here, take a look at one of these other videos that's over here that YouTube says that you're going to want to watch. There's a subscribe button there. Yep, I get it. And we'll see how daring you are if you want to hit it or not. But why don't you check out one of the other videos and see if there's something else there that you like. YouTube says you're going to like it. And I go with whatever YouTube says. So I'm going to say you're going to like it as well. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.